Good afternoon. You're listening to Watchmen on the Pod. And we're going to continue reading the daily inspirations from the book of Proverbs. Today we'll be reading in chapter 11, verse 14. And first, out of the Revised Standard Version, it says, Where there is no guidance, a nation falls. But in an abundance of counselors, there is safety. In the World English Bible, it says, Where there is no wise guidance, the nation falls. But in the multitude of counselors, there is victory. Our prayer. Sovereign God, I pray today for my nation. Sometimes I think there are too many counselors telling the government what to do. But maybe that's a good thing. Give wisdom to our leaders. Free them from corrupt influences. And provide them with the courage to do the right thing. Even if it's not popular. Guide them through the maze of international relations. Help them seek peace creatively. In national matters, fill them with compassion for the needy, fairness for all, and a love for the truth. And help me be the best citizen that I can be. Amen. You know, we are told in the New Testament that we are to pray for those in authority, those that are above us, we are to pray for them. You're not supposed to tear them down, but you are to pray for them. You know, you may not agree with their lifestyle or the things that they do, and your prayer should be that God will protect them, and that God will move upon their hearts, and that God's will will be done through these leaders. Whether we agree or not, for God's will to be done because we do not know the mind of God. We just simply do not. We do not know what it is in store next for us, but God already has it planned out. We can never forget. He knows the end from the beginning and he knows what is in the heart of man and he knows the intentions behind our actions. So keep your leaders in prayer at all times. Pray for their salvation also if they're not serving God. Pray that the Father will humble them in order to be saved. Because if our leaders are full of pride, they don't even know that they need the Lord Jesus Christ. They have no idea. So pray that he will humble them. But other than that, don't dishonor them. Keep him in prayer at all times. Amen.